I had quite a bit of trouble with this. I finally rooted it using PDA net to install the drivers for the Samsung phone. And then I ran a one click root because I could not figure out how to do the fast boot thing. I know how to do ADB commands to push stuff, but for some reason fast boot not found or something. So I found a one click root process or it rebooted in the bootloader, unlocked it, and then I installed the newest ROM manager because it had an old version of Clockwork Recovery on here from the one-click process. Need to wipe the phone. Then we need to install SD from zip. Choose zip from SD card. CyanogenMod 7.10 RC1. Install. I don't actually have a full how to root video. I was going to reference somebody else's video here, but I changed my mind. That's done. Now we need to install the other zip, which is the Google add-ons. Without this, you will not have the market, Gmail, and etc. Back, back. Reboot to system now. We should see Cyanogen. Come on, Cyanogen. That lock simply means the bootloader is now unlocked. Ha <laughs> ha! CM7 on the Nexus S4G! I'm snatching up a HTC Evo Shift 4G that has a 2.3 update, so I'm going to temper it, use the exploit to install an RUU that flashes it back to 2.2, and then I'm going to install a stable build of CM7, because a guy at work has that phone and says it's really slow. Which it is with sense on it. Plus, I'll get to use free Wi-Fi tether, be able to back up his stuff with titanium backup. Everything you're fixing to be able to do with this phone. With Cyanogen Mod, you get these neat little reboot and recovery and power off and stuff. So no powering down your phone and then forgetting you did it. And wondering why you didn't get that call from the person you were waiting to call on and text message or whatever. To get the lightest Wi-Fi tether, I do not recommend going to the market. Wi-Fi. Just Google Wi-Fi tether. Hit search and don't click the main one. You can, but it's quicker if you just hit this little downloads button. And you'll always want to download the one from the top. And then click this link. And then it will download the Wi Fi Tether 3.1 beta 6 to your SD card. It might tell you to check unknown sources. Before you actually start it, you should need to change some settings. Well, there's not a profile for this phone, unfortunately. Right here, I'm just changing everything to my preferred settings. Moment of truth. We'll start it. Allow it. No errors at all. Sweet. So it should work just fine. Once you hit allow, it'll remember that you allowed it. To get the battery icon to look like that, menu, settings, Cyanogen settings, interface, status bar tweaks, battery percentage, check that. I like it a lot. There's a lot of different things you can do in here. I do have the experimental 7.1 RC1, so it's 2.3.4. If it was the nightly, it would either be 2.3.5 or 2.3.6. But since this isn't my phone, I want most things to work for him. And as always, you get the neat little top things in the notification bar. And under Cyanogen settings, you can go to widget buttons, and you can do all this stuff. And you can even have your music skip forward, go backwards, play, pause, all from just sliding down and pressing a button up here. I highly recommend Cyanogen 7 to anybody out there. This is What Would Josh Do, and now I'm out. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I am very close to 2,000, just a little over 100 shy. So please, if you could, share this video with your friends and let them know about my channel. Thank you.